this a shooter. This is 12 rigs of Christmas. I've been drinking a lot of beer. Well, that'll happen. This is the kind of unit that just spreads Christmas cheer. You know joy, I mean? joy all so around. Christmas joy all the way around. And the cool later For on. All the good boat. little boys and girls, even the foreign well, ones. Even those ones? Yeah. Nice. I think this is the kind of unit Santa's trying to get into, if you know what I mean. I can help you out and find one, Santa. No, 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 no. I don't think you get what I'm saying. I think oh, I. Oh, you need want to... this one, Santa? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Santa. We can talk. Everything's always for sale. You know, I think I might need to make you an offer on this bad boy. Make me an offer. I can't refuse. Yeah, we need to, uh, we need to pull off up here. You got to uh, show me yeah, around. I'll tell you. Bit, huh? Put it through the paces. Well, keep show on everything. going up the hill. Let's check her out. All right. All right. Well. Uh, a lot of people might not know what this rig is, right? I mean, there's three main sports out here in California, right? Football, baseball, and basketball. Hockey and golf. Uh, so uh, where are you from, Shooter? Yeah, be Minnesota there, guy. So you Minnesota guys kind of know what kind of vehicle this is, right? This would be a Zamboni. Zamboni. What do you do with a Zamboni? You make ice. Resurface ice. So you make ice? Both. Okay. All right, I thought it just smoothed it off, but it actually well, makes Well, you can the make ice. the ice too, because you're just dumping water and not shaving. Lays down point. water yeah. and it freezes it. Yeah. So here we are out in California, it doesn't even freeze. Zambonis are made in California, Southern California, if you can I believe forgot. that. I forgot, a family owned company from Southern California. Paramount. Paramount, Southern California. Uh, I think this is the perfect sleigh for Santa to spread Christmas cheer. I think we can talk a deal, Santa. And you know, Santa's- You need to see what's underneath the hood. Hmm. Santa's had a long season, you know, and it's not even Christmas You are yet. looking good after the business meeting, I might say. Yeah. I'm a little thinking, light in your loafers, if you know what I'm I mean. I'm thinking I might need to hire a driver shooter. so I, I could be your guy. This is a nice unit right here. I want to see if maybe I can make you a deal on the unit and the driver. Oh, you know? Let's talk. Let's be talk. a perfect Santa sleigh. So why don't you, uh, first off, tell us what happens up here. This is where you drive from, huh? Oh, this is, this is the driver's seat. This is where all the magic happens. So check that out. What do you call that? Um, I forget what they call it. It's called a suicide knob. The suicide knob, yeah. So this bad boy is uh, full hydraulic steering, right? Full hydraulic steering, full hydraulic everything. Hydraulic right? everything. So steering, transmission. Runs on gasoline, I assume. This is a gasoline engine. Yeah. Oh, Santa's been looking for a gas rig, you know? It's a good old VW engine, Santa. A VW engine? 126 a 48 horsepower there, guy. So you got your conditioner here. This is a bunch of augers that spin, yes, right? Yes, yes. So you got the conditioner Shave back the ice. there. And lay water down. Yep. They spin. It brings it to the middle. Goes into this Comes tube. Comes up. Another auger here. Shoots it up. Shoots it up that tube. Right into this. What do you call this? That would be the dump tank. The dump tank. Okay. Yep. So shoots your shaved ice into the dump tank. Then you got a bunch of water tanks on here yep. that lay water on the back. Yep, the water comes off the it back. It freezes, of the and that's how you make ice. Exactly. That has nothing to do with what I got to use this for. That I just fun. need to deliver presents around the world. We can make that happen to uh, all the boys and girls. And the foreign ones. Yeah, that's good. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. So, hop down. And, All right. Uh, let me show you around. Show here. us what we got. I want to see what power that powers this and how it drives because I have a feeling that you're going to be talking my language. All right. All right. Well, first, Santa, I'll show you where the engine is real quick. But we'll, I can open the hood later on. There's the engine, there, guy. Let Ooh. me. Let me. Hold on a second. Just take that in for this a minute. This is like a race car. Yes. This, this is, is race car stuff. I don't know if you understand, Santa. Center engine. Yeah. It's a yeah. perfectly balanced you know, center of the weight, right? Yes. But what what size engine is that? Uh, VW126A, 48 horsepower. It's the industrial engine though. 48 horsepower. Yes. And that bad boy turns a hydraulic pump 
which then transfers uh, hydraulic fluid to run different motors all over this, Yeah, the right? transmission, the gears, the augers, everything. So this is what I'm interested in. First off, what size is that frame? This is two by five channel. Not two by six, not two by four, but two by five. Two by five box tube. Yep. And I see it's on leaf springs. Yes. You know, it's kind of like an old CJ, right? And check this out. Original mag wheels. Those are nice. Mag wheels and these are McCreary Super Traction. And I noticed you got, you got ice spikes on these bad boys. Oh yeah, they're studded stock from the factory. So this is what's really gonna That'll uh, help you. This is what's really gonna touch the hearts of some of my Jeep guys is, what, what kind of rear axle is that? This is a Dana 60 in the back, and up front we got a Dana 44. So you got a narrowed, cause not yes, full width, yeah, it's Dana 60 down. rear, Dana, Dana 44, 44 front, mag wheels, eight lug. Uh, what gear ratio are you running in this bad boy? 587 back there, 589 up front. Well, 588s basically, yeah, that is a low gear ratio. Yes. People, you don't see that in a lot of Dana 44s. No, it's thought, kind of the unicorn. It is a unicorn, yep. An OEM, right oh, out yeah, of Zamboni, yeah, oh, yes, right? right yep, yep. So, what year is this actual unit? So this is, they, don't, they didn't make yours, but this is about a 73. 1973, it was shipped to Cincinnati, Ohio, brand new. So, delivered to Cincinnati, Ohio, and what was it doing in Cincinnati? It was first indoor ice rink there, they had there. And then, at some point, they sold it to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And it went to the Pittsburgh and Civic I mean, Center. Is, are That's they, are they a baseball team, the Penguins? Uh, no, that would be the first sport, hockey. They're in the NHL. Okay, all right. So was that the Penguins, and then what happened? And then the Penguins had it for a while, and then in 1989, it got sold out here to Sacramento. So it went to the uh, yeah, well, local Arco Arena. Yes, yes. And uh, it did a lot of, there wasn't any hockey playing we didn't, in No, San there was no Sacramento. hockey here, but we did a lot of Disney on Ice and uh, preseason Ooh. NHL games. A lot of tights on Disney oh, yeah, on Ice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and then uh, usually once a year, a couple of years at NHL preseason game. And, and now what do you use it for? Fun. Spreading Christmas cheer. Yes. Absolutely. Joy, joy, joy. There's nothing better than owning a Zamboni, right? It screams fun. Yeah, this is, this exudes Merry Christmas all around the world yes. to cruise around a Zamboni on Christmas yes. Eve, on Christmas, even New Year's sometimes. Whenever Fourth we, of July even, maybe. Fourth of July, whatever, yeah. <laughs> not, well, not picky. <laughs> okay, well let's, uh, let's crank up this. Let's see, I'll show you the whole picture here. Yeah, Santa. bring bring it, raise it up. All right, I don't know want to start it up, so I'll do this manually, the old school way there, Santa. So this thing has high, uh, manual overrides for the Oh hydraulic. yeah, yeah, this might take a minute though. All right. A few minutes later. This is the, the, the dump, dump tank? tank. Okay. Dump tank. And this is the power plant, so yes. it makes it happen, right? Yeah. And then what is this big box These there? These two, they're tied together, but that pipe back there, this is the ice water that makes the ice. This is what comes out of the back end. After the ice gets shaved, this is the fresh water that makes new ice. So you fill this up with water? 195 gallons. And how, at what temperature is that water supposed to be? Uh, you want it hot water. Hot water makes good ice, cold water makes bad ice. So that's hard. You, you gotta have a big hot water heater, fill oh, yeah. this thing up with yep. hot water. Okay. Uh, well then let's go, let me walk around the other side here. Okay, I'll meet you over there. Sam. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you see a VW engine here, and usually behind the engine is a transmission, transaxle, something like that. This has got some weird witchcraftery going on, good right, stuff. Sean? This is the good so stuff. So here's the starter, yes. pointing straight up Vertical, in the air. Not, yep. Vertical, it goes right down into a bell housing. So there's actually a clutch in there we found out, right? Yes, yes. Um, and the clutch just makes it so it's not straight gear uh, into, the, into the case. So what happens is, if you look right here, this looks like, almost looks like a 205 transfer case, but it it's not. It is the Hub City 200. The Hub three, City? Hub City 200, it's okay. three to one. Okay. Oh, it is three to one. Yes, it's All three right. to one. Yes. Now, it has a solid gear, a solid gear, and it turns this pump right here, yep. right? So this pump, you can see the water hose on it. What does that pump do? Spreads the water. So that, that pumps the water, the yep. And then this pump has multiple hoses come out of it. So this pump drives the an elect, wait, let's see, it would be a hydraulic motor yeah. that then makes it go forward and yes, back. Yes, exactly. It also drives the hydraulic rams that make that these the guys. tank go up and the conditioner go up and down. Yes. Like there's a lot, and, of, lot and, of plumbing and yes, hydraulics. And the augers. Oh, and the augers, okay. 
in everything hydraulic drive. Everything. So basically this is the flux capacitor yeah. for all things hydraulic. Yes. A bunch of pumps, a bunch of hoses. Voodoo every, magic. Voodoo magic, right? And then right down underneath here is the actual transfer case. Yes. And the transfer case is driven by, a, th there's a separate um, hydraulic motor that's down there that spins the input of the transfer case, which spins the gears, which then takes a drive shaft to the rear axle and a drive shaft to the front axle, right? Which there's stubby little drive shafts. Tiny little drive shafts, right? To your Dana 40 front and your 44 front. And 60 in the And your 60 rear. And do you have any posi traction or lockers in these? No, I don't you know can't. what they call it. That These are just... So you can't have yes. any posies in it because when you're on the ice, You'd be you have spinning to turn the sharp. Yeah. You'd be you'd be uh, uh, breaking traction on yeah. your inside tire. You'd mess up yeah. the ice. You know, that's not so. Good. It's open diffs front and rear. Even Santa knows that. Um, so I mean, very complicated. Santa knows everything. He does. He knows everything. Very complicated, but very simple. And then you have this little heat shield here for your. Uh, your so the stack. exhaust comes out that side underneath and goes up. There's nothing like a smokestack. You know. No, I mean? that's that's a beautiful. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> such an amazing piece of machinery it's kind of my speed it's kind of nine like a, miles an hour max nine miles an hour we got a governor on there it's going to take us a long time to get around the world that's a lot of joy we can spread though. the good news is we got a lot of beverages right yes yes and a lot of joy oh speaking of do you need a new one santa oh uh, let's see i got a little something hidden over here this is like my toy sack santa and there this is this is such a perfect place to stand when i'm riding with you you know santa i couldn't pass it up it was five oh. bucks for a 12 pack man there's nothing like a good having BLD. a good bush light you know on christmas oh. lukewarm lukewarm that's the oh. best served oh. mm. if that's not christmas i don't know what is clark that's somewhat delicious <laughs> <laughs> There's it's not, somewhat not. There's nothing like a warm bush in your hand on Christmas. <laughs> well, there's not. You know, there's nothing Sean, like bush on Christmas. I, this is definitely my ride. Well, that part, Santa, you don't even know. There's a blade down here. Oh, we missed that. Yes, that's how we shave it. This ang changes the angle of the blade. So it's like a razor blade that's. Yes, exactly. I thought it was just the augers. No, there's a blade, and then the augers just pull the snow in. The so the blade thing. scrapes, the augers pull, yeah. it goes up there, goes yeah. in. Yeah. Um, Don't put your hand underneath. Did you just get this seat pan rebuilt? Yeah, it's custom and patina. Yeah, that thing. Uh, I, I like it that way. That thing looks rough on the butt. I like you it. Know? Uh, you got any brakes on this bad boy? Uh, no, I decommissioned the brakes because who needs brakes? Nobody needs yeah. brakes, especially when At you're nine miles an hour. Especially when you're hydrostatic at nine miles yes. an hour. Yes. So, other than that, anything else to show us back here? No, it's just a beauty. This is the kind of stuff, like check this out. So That's another pump. You know, well that's a hydraulic motor. So hydraulic yeah. motor here yeah. turns the augers. Hydro hydraulic motor here turns the auger that lifts the shaved ice and shoots it through that hole into the, uh, what do you call it? A dump tank. Dump tank, okay, yep. Um, so everywhere you look, there's just hoses and equipment yeah. and it's all working. Yeah. So it's, uh, this is it. Santa, do you think we can go spring over on this? So I'm I'd thinking, like a little clearance. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking next year, we spring this thing over, yeah. and we drive it through the Rubicon. Okay. You think that's possible? No, but we can try. All right, we could do that. 60, 44, there we go. Well, thank you for showing me this. It's Christmas. Everybody needs to be spending time with their family. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching yeah. the 12 Rigs of Christmas 2023. We had a great time filming it. Hope you guys enjoyed all the vehicles, all the rigs. Uh, don't forget, don't drink and drive on Christmas. And uh, remember, on the website, till the end of the year, 12% off, no code needed, you can maybe build your own Zamboni. And also, if you're looking to build a Jeep and find a narrowed 44 and a narrowed 60, find your first Zamboni. Look for a Zamboni in the junkyards. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from WFO. Merry Christmas. What's happening? More money, Sean. Hey, Sean, what are you doing right now? Filling her up. What are you filling yeah. up exactly? A Zamboni. Oh, okay. My Zamboni. Are you filling it up with premium? Yeah. He's filling it up with premium. Nothing but the best for my baby. Woo! Got it. Oh, 
Oh, yo, what? Little Jack in the Box drive through, no big deal. Where'd you get that jacket? You need a little research. Uh, Shrine Circus. Shrine Circus. Wait, who's gonna make the order? Nothing to see here. Another successful night, huh? Big night. Seven miles on the baby. We got so what was our top speed tonight, Sean? I think it was about eight point five. Eight point five, huh? Yeah. yeah, you kinda you think you're checked off to drive this thing home? Remember, there's a car in front of you. That's a wrap. Christmas is over. Ho, ho, ho. America, Merry Christmas.